we don't often comment on the visits of foreign leaders to uh, third countries. Uh, of course, uh, Saudi Arabia uh, has a relationship that uh, with the PRC. We have a relationship uh, with the PRC. Of course, President Biden uh, traveled to the region to meet with our uh, GCC partners and with our Saudi partners uh, a number of months ago now. Uh, it's not for us to say what any particular bilateral relationship around the, around the world uh, should look like. Uh, the point that we've made consistently over the course of this administration is that we're not asking countries to choose between the United States and the PRC or any other country for that matter. Uh, we're not asking countries around the world uh, to choose between us and any other country. Uh, we are seeking to give countries around the world choices. Our goal is to give countries the most attractive uh, choice and to make the United States the most attractive choice uh, in terms of what we bring to the table uh, to make sure that uh, they know what that is, they know what our comparative advantage is, and that they can in turn make informed decisions uh, about their uh, partnerships uh, and uh, their, their partnerships. Uh, there is no country, I think it is fair to say, um, that brings more to the table when it comes to building coalitions, building partnerships, and importantly, uh, when it comes to the Middle East, integrating the defensive capabilities that are so important, so vital uh, to many of our partners uh, across the Middle East than the United States. Uh, these are issues that we speak to our Middle Eastern partners about uh, regularly, uh, and we'll continue to have those discussions about how we can work together uh, in all of those areas. We remain focused on our national security interests and our partnerships in the Middle East. That hasn't changed. Um, uh, Saudi Arabia is one of those strategic partners, has been for 80, uh, 80 years. Um, and, uh, and that partnership continues as well. That bilateral partnership continues as well. Yes, uh, in the wake of the OPEC Plus decision a couple months ago, we um, uh, are reviewing that bilateral relationship to make sure that it best suits uh, American national security interests. That works ongoing. Um, uh, we are mindful, and it's in our national security strategy, as uh, we're mindful of the, the influence that China is trying to grow around the world. Uh, uh, the Middle East is certainly one of those regions where they want to deepen uh, their level of influence. Um, we believe that it, 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 many of the things they're trying to pursue and the manner in which they're trying to pursue it uh, uh, are not conducive to preserving the rules-based international order uh, that the United States and, and our vast network of allies and partners are trying to preserve. That said, um, back to the issue of sovereignty, sovereign nations uh, uh, have every right to conduct bilateral relations that they see fit. Again, we'd let, uh, we would let uh, China and Saudi Arabia speak to this particular visit on their own. We are not asking nations to choose between the United States and, and China.